In the previous tutorial, we learned how to create this assembly and we learned about the constraint. So when you get more familiar with the inventor environment, so you might need to try another way for creating your assemblies and placing your components. So for example, we have the our components are already open. So you can start a new assembly part with control N. Then you will see the new file when you open, then you can create and then you can create your assembly file or here from the new assembly, then you created your assembly file. And the previous tutorial we learned how to place your parts by the traditional method with place when you are able to browse for your parts, but also you are able to directly drag and put your part into a simply file so here if you look at the left tree you see the assembly file is activated if you click on the part so your part is activated so when your part is activated select on the top of it drag it to the assembly file and you see how your mouse icon is changed so now you inserted your part. You want to insert another part, drag and again the same way. Click, drag it to your file. So now you are able to drag and put your part. Also there is another way to insert your parts directly. If you open your parts folder and click on the row file part so you are able to insert as well drag it from the file so here you inserted your part in a different method than the previous so it's up to you which one you feel more comfortable to use or faster and here I showed you both method 